On this week's video, we learned that bread is not good for our famous resident, Gary the Goose, but we'll tell you what is good for him. So this week, I'm at Fredericksburg City Dock with Officer Joe Young, who is the watershed manager for the Fredericksburg Police Department. And also in the background is perhaps Fredericksburg's most famous creature, Gary the Goose. Uh, Officer Young is going to tell you a little bit about the story behind Gary and also how we can all uh, protect Gary, take good care of him, make sure he has a long, healthy life. Um, so, Officer Young, first of all, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, why don't we start by uh, Gary the Goose. He's probably pretty well known. He, he hangs out here at City Dock and in the Rappahannock River. What's the story behind how he came here in the first place? He's a rescue, what is now the Department of Wildlife Resources, used to be the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. They found him. Uh, someone turned him over, Gary, to, to them. They nursed him back to health and returned him to the wild here at City Dock. That was about seven years ago. And he's been here pretty much ever since. Ever since. So Gary's very popular, so people like to come down here and, and look at him, take pictures of him, and feed him. But tell us a little bit about what people shouldn't do when it comes to feeding Gary. Well, I've been out here two hours, and during that time, so far, I've seen five people come up and feed Gary. One individual fed him what he can have. The others all um, basically bred which is the worst thing you can give uh, geese, ducks, you know, basically waterfowl. There is no nutritional value. It makes their bones soft. They develop angel wing. You can see Gary's wings are perfectly flush with his body. Um, that's what we want to see. Angel wing um, with a lack of calcium from the bread. Um, no nutri nu nutritional value. The carpal, they basically break and the wings are stuck in a permanent position. They can't fly, they can't defend themselves. Um, at that point, they are dependent on what they're being fed, which is bad, which is bread. You know, sickly birds that have been eating the bread, uh, again, are pushed to the back and ultimately they starve. So bread is the worst. Uh, one gentleman brought up cracked corn. It's natural, um, it's not processed, no sugars. But the bottom line is the best thing you can feed Gary is nothing at all. You can come visit. You can visit his Facebook page. He has thousands of followers. Come, look at him, talk to him. He loves that. But it's probably best in his best interest and the interest of all the waterfowl in the city. Don't feed him. Gary is very healthy and has been since he was left here by Department of Wildlife Resources. We'd like to keep it that way. The less intervention in his diet is the best thing for him. You can see that he loves to go forage on his own. He still knows how to do it. That's the way we'd like to keep it. It's, and it's not only Gary, it's all the waterfowl. Whether it's here at City Dock, Old Mill Park, Hurricane Park, um, even in uh, Central Park. That's where we're seeing the overfeeding and nothing but the bread. And that is dangerous because that area is where they're actually laying their eggs and they have the small geese and, and ducklings so from the time they're basically hatched all they know is bread and they become reliant on people to feed them they're not learning how to forage they're not learning the survival skills they need just because you see gary doesn't mean you have to feed him don't feed the waterfowl so let's all do our part to keep gary healthy it's a great yes. it's become an iconic part of fredericksburg so yes uh, so let's all do our part yeah Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Bye. Officer Young, um, appreciate your all your uh, information and your knowledge on this. And well, thank you, Bill, for letting me speak. It's important. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So that'll do it for this week's edition. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week.